Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to display a success message after a user completes an action here. Whether it can be an add action or it can be the update action as well. For example, whenever a user click on add action, let's say that here we have a application called library management system and here we are trying to add a new book here. So here we will try to give a title of the book. Let's say like the title of the book is going to be Malgudi days here and the author is going to be RK Narayan now I have added a book here if I click on create here what it will show here is that a success message will show here in this success message it is showing some compact details available here for example success is there then book added to the library is there after that another card is there in that you know like some more details are showing and there is a link to view the summary as well if you click on that link basically it will take you to the summary link for that particular book as well there so in this way like we can create a success message as well if you click on close button it will get closed let's see the process model point of view how this works here so if you go in the process model here and whenever you have added a book you will get an instance here create book malgori days if i open that instance so I have now opened the instance here. So here you can see how this particular logic of success message works here is that first of all, we have written the data in our database here. After that, we have added another user input task to add the success message here. And then that particular success message only is showing here. If you click on close here, this action will also get completed. And if you refresh it here, see here, this message will, this instance will get completed here. So we will see that how can we build a success message like this one here and how can we add a summary link as well. Same success message will work for the update part as well. For example, if you click on the update book here, anything let's say that we have changed and click on save here. Again, the same success message will come here. But this time instead of book added to the library, it is saying here book updated to the library here. So that kind of control feature we can control with the help of our instance as well so we will see that how can we do that let's go to our library management application created a ui success message lms success message here so the very first thing that we are going to do here is we will take a card layout here and in this card layout here we will try to add some properties for the card for example here we will take the shape as rounded here padding we will just add it more and in this style we will take a custom color here hex color code here which is like this one light green kind of color it is and after that we will start to add components in our card layout here the very first component that we are going to add here is a rich text display field and in the value part of rich text we are going to add here rich text icon here so let's add an icon here so this is the icon is going to be just search for check symbol here so whatever you looking good for you you can add it here after that uh, the let's increase the size of this to let's say that medium plus here the color as well we will add it here the color is going to be positive for that here we have to give a next line here for the next line we will add here curtain let's add it one more next line here two times i've added curtain here and then i will add here rich text item and the text is going to be here success and for this one as well we will try to increase the size to medium plus here and all this data will be aligned in the center Let's remove one character I guess a bit more space is already covered here so that this looks fine here. After that and below this one we will need another message here. So we will add another character here and let's add a rich text item and the text is going to be here. But make sure that this message will only show for the addition of the book. It should not show for the update part of the book here. So for what we can do here is we can add a parameter is update here. And here we will take a boolean field. Click on create. So if ri bank is update is true, it will not show this message so that we can control the outcome of the message here. So or of ri bank 
is update so if it is update is true book updated we will just write it here book updated to the library otherwise it should show here book added to the library so now we have added the is update part as well after that what we will take here is we will take another card layout inside this card only to add other related details so this is going to be our card layout and in the card layout and here we will take here show border we will not show the border for that we will only show the shadow so show shadow is going to be here true and now let's add the contents for this card layout here so for this card layout the content is going to be again we will take a rich text display field here the value is going to be here rich text icon and in the icon part we will try to add book so here you can see one book data is available here and the size is going to be here medium we will keep it here medium after this one here we will give a cat 32 space let's give another cat 32 cat 32 is basically a tab space you can say we we are adding here and then we will add another rich text item here and the text is going to be here library update and after that let's increase the size for the library update as well to let's say medium here and after that this will get a line in the center so let's align it to the center part here after that let's take another rich text here the value is going to be here rich text item and the text is going to be here we will write a text here that so now i have added a text here that your submission has been processed successfully and this one as well we can align in the center as well so that everything will be aligned in the center so you can see here this message has also been added. Now in the success message, the very important part that we are going to add here is how can we add a summary link here. So for adding a summary link here, to add the summary link here, in this card only we will try to add a summary link. For that we will take a link field here and in the links part here, we will select a record link here. So this is going to be our record link and here we have to give the label for the link here that is going to be here view summary and after that we have to write the record type as well. So the record type is going to be LMS book here and then we have to add the identifier. So IDPK will be given from the process model part here. So we will create here another rule input for the IDPK. So this will be taken from the process model click on create here and just write here identifier is going to be ri bank idpk after that dashboard is by default will take us to the summary only and open link and target location is fine we can skip that and after that one we will try to add a button here so let's try to add a button so that user can close that particular form here now see here, here the button has been added. Now let's take the button to the end here. So alignment, we will just make it at the end here and we will edit the button's text here. So instead of button, we can just write it here, close. It will be submit equal to true. So make sure that this particular parameter you have checked. If you have not checked that, even if you click on the close button, it will not work. The form will not get submitted here. View summary is still not in the center. So we will also try to align this link field in the center here. And now we are ready to use our success form in the process model part. So all these changes have been covered as from the UI perspective. Now what can we do from the process model perspective here? So if you go in the LMS book here, so see here, this is the LMS book record type and these are the actions for that LMS add or update book. So this is the book in order to add or update the book here. And here is the process model LMS add or update book. So this is the process model to add or update the book here. So we will try to open this process model. So here you can see that this is the LMS add or update book part. This is the process model for the add or update book here. And this is the node where user is filling the book details. And this is the write to records here. We have to add our UI. So this is the UI. Let's search for our UI LMS success screen. Make sure that it is also chained. If activity chaining is not enabled, this form will not load at all. And let's open the form to create the variables here. First of all, let's do the assignment part. It will be assigned to the initiator here. 
and after that in the forms tab let's uncheck the allow users to save in progress draft here and all these variables are created go to the data tab here and in the update see as of now we have to know that a process is going to update or not so for now let's leave the is update here and in the idpk we have to get the idpk for the book here so here the book id is the idpk and make sure that in the right to book here go to the properties we are taking the output from the right records as well go to the output and go to records updated so here in the output you can see lms book has been added it means that when a book is added you will be able to see the idpk on the ui as well click on ok so that has been added here and next thing we will add in our success message is that in the exceptions tab we will add a timer here go to configure because see sometimes what will happen user can leave the screen as it is so this task will never get completed so i'm just adding a 10 minutes of timer according to your need you can increase to any n number of minutes that you want click on ok here and after that let's connect this timer to the end node as well so now this has been completed here one part was remaining that how we will know whether it is an update or not so for that particular purpose in our process model we have to create a variable called as is update here so in our process model we will create a new process variable and we will write it here is update and it is going to be a boolean field and this data will come from the record here make it parameterized here click on ok and now let's publish the process here once you have published the process model we will go to our record type here and in the update book related actions we will again try to configure it and see if you want to you know like configure the new process model parameterized variable that you have created here it will not directly show you you have to you know like let me just cut it everything from here lms add or update we will again add it update so it will show up that process model here add or update book and this time it will show you is update null as well so these two values we have already you know like a copy pasted so just paste it as it is here brackets and i guess that everything is fine make sure that when you are you know like putting the data uh, you are not getting any errors due to the comma missing or brackets as well and is update we will just keep it here true so whenever update is triggered is update will go as true in the process model and we will know that it is update so based on that we can also know that what message to show on the success screen click on save your changes and after that in our process model so let's go to our forms and here in the is update here let's add that particular variable click on ok and let's publish this process model so in this way the process model part has been completed the success screen has been completed here and now we are ready to test it out now let's go to our site and let's check that how this works here go to the books part here click on add book here and now let me just try to add a book here let's say mal goody days and click on submit when i click on submit here you will see that a success message will appear here and it is saying that book added to the library here your submission has been processed successfully if you want to go to the summary you can also see the summary page as well and it will take you to the correct summary page here it will not throw you any error why it is not throwing any error sometimes you will get the errors as well make sure that this idpk is correct identifier needs to be correct otherwise it can be errors as well and now you can successfully close the forms as well and if you click on update book then this time it will show you uh, the update message let's try to submit the data once again and here see book updated to the library it is showing so based on the is update to instance it is working so if i show you the instance for the update part here so let's go to the second instance here and you can see that is update has come up as true here that is why it is showing here book updated to the library so based on your need you can create parameterized variables here and control the behavior of the success screen as well see there can be different design for the success message as well you don't have to design exactly like this one and there can be different designs as well for the success message that you want you can add much more details in the success screen as well for example as of now we have just added view summary here instead of that there can be another design something like this one 
see here book added successfully then a message is showing here and after that the complete summary view or for the book is also showing here so you can also show something like this one here what i have done here is basically i have just tried to call the summary ui in the success message as well but it is not that much feasible because generally the summaries are you know like quite vast and you have a lot of fields in the summary so that is not possible in most of the cases so but this summary link can you know like can really work a lot if you want you can also show few additional data as well like some id you are creating or other values so you have got the idea like in the process model only you will get that data and just you have to create a rule inputs it to get the values to the ui from the process here and that's it guys that's how you create a success message in appian after action is completed whether it is an add action or an update action or any other action as well so i hope that this tutorial was helpful to you so that was all for now guys thank you